Sometimes I am really good at keeping my succulents alive. Other times, not so much. That's been the case with my recent move from Utah to Arizona. I've been trying to figure out how to adjust caring for my succulents for fairly warm weather in Utah compared to the extreme heat here in Arizona. When you move to a new area or when you move succulents to a new area of your home or garden, you really have to pay attention to how much sun that area gets and that will change throughout the year. You also need to pay attention to temperatures and the little microclimates that exist around your garden. In this video, I'm gonna give you an update on what my garden currently looks like. And to be honest, it's pretty embarrassing, but hopefully it will help you see what you need to do to figure out how to keep your succulents looking their best. I've also learned a lot that will help me replant my garden this fall so that it does better next year when it gets hot again. First up, we have the planter box. This one makes me the most sad. And if you've seen the video where I showed you how I designed this planter, you'll see how amazing it looks. The planter box is in our patio, which turns out gets direct sunlight and a lot of heat during the summer. In the winter, because the sun is lower, it doesn't get any direct sunlight. I planted it in February, which meant that there wasn't any direct sunlight at the time, and it was actually stretching a little bit for light. But once April and May came around and it started getting hotter, things started to look bad. Slowly, the little two inch succulents started to get crispy, and then eventually some of the larger plants did too. You'll notice that the cacti are the only thing that survived. The cacti are also much larger than the other plants and they store a lot more water on their own. This planter doesn't have any sort of automated watering and I frequently forget to water my succulents. So if this went several days without water, those plants weren't getting what they needed. What would have helped these succulents survive better is if they had received more water during the winter so they could have rooted a lot better. Then they would have been able to withstand the heat a little bit more. Also, using larger plants would have made the planter a lot more likely for success. Instead of just going with bigger plants though, we're also gonna install a shade tent on top of the succulents so that when it gets especially hot in the summer, we'll be able to cool the succulents down and keep them protected from that really hot direct sunlight. Next up is the white shelving unit that's over on our gravel area. These succulents were doing pretty well until about July when the heat just got really intense. I was also out of town, so they went for a fairly long time without any water. The main problem with this area is that even though it gets really good morning sun, it does get shade through some of the afternoon, but around five or six o'clock as the sun is starting to set a little bit, it gets really direct sunlight. This also happens to be the time of day when the temperatures are peaking. So when the temperatures are somewhere around 115 degrees, these plants were getting direct sunlight. It was just too much for these little plants in individual containers. If they were in the ground and really well rooted, they might have survived better, but they probably still would have had some scorching because that sun is just so hot and so direct. Most of these pots will be replanted, and I'm also planning to move the wire shelving into that shade tent that I mentioned before that will be on the patio. Again, this will ensure that they get shade in the afternoon when the temperatures are at their highest. Now for the front patio. These succulents get sun in the morning, generally until about 10 or 11. Usually this means that they're shaded in the afternoon and so they're not getting as much of that intense heat and intense sun in the afternoon. Most of these succulents were fine up until again about July when the temperatures really got hot. I moved them back away from the railing so that they wouldn't get as much direct sunlight. This helped a little bit, but because the house is cement and all the area around it is cement, it still traps in the heat so they would get pretty hot in the afternoons. There's not a way to avoid that, unfortunately, but by watering them a little more frequently, I could have prevented some of these problems. There's two big takeaways I've learned from this summer. The first is that most succulents cannot tolerate long periods of temperatures above 100 degrees, especially not with direct sunlight. Your best options are to use succulents that are larger, make sure they're really well rooted and preferably in the ground or in a large pot. This will help protect them from that extreme heat. 
If you do have succulents outside during that extreme heat that are a little bit smaller or maybe not as tolerant of the heat, make sure that you have them shaded in the afternoon to prevent that scorching sunlight from damaging their leaves. You can also watch my video on how to help succulents endure extreme heat, and that will give you some more tips to help you keep your succulents looking their best. The second takeaway is make sure you know your home and you know how much sunlight and how much heat the areas in your yard or in your garden are going to receive. This doesn't just mean watching an area for one day. You need to know how the sun changes throughout spring, summer, fall, and winter. As I mentioned, that spot on my patio doesn't get any direct sunlight in the winter, but as the sun gets higher in the summer, it gets full sun almost all day long. I'll keep you posted as I update the garden when things cool down a little bit more. You'll be able to see what I've replanted, what plants I choose, and how I'm gonna make sure that these succulents survive the summer heat next year. Leave a comment below and let me know what your biggest challenge area has been in your yard. Is it extreme heat? Is it too much sunlight? Or is it freezing temperatures? Again, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it with all of your succulent loving friends, and I'll see you next time.